In this video, I will answer a question from a recent webinar called Random Intercept and Random Slope Models. We're answering questions here because we had over 500 people live on the webinar, so we didn't have time to get through all the questions. If you miss the webinar live, this and the other questions in this video series may make more sense if you watch the webinar recording first. It's part of our free webinar series, The Craft of Statistical Analysis, and you can sign up to get the free recording handout and even the data that we ran in the example at this link listed below. Yo asks, is there a fix if the data is not normally distributed, or is that a deal breaker for using the mixed model approach? Again, another great question. So, Mixed models, or linear mixed models, I should say, really have very similar assumptions of normality that linear models do. So we are working with the same level of acceptability of non-normality as we are in linear models. So first of all, just to clarify, it's not that y, the dependent variable, has to be normally distributed. It's the residuals or correspondingly y given x. So it's quite possible if y is unbounded, quantitative, and measured on an interval or ratio scale that indeed uh, it does not have to actually be normally distributed. Because once you account for the x's in the model, everything on the right hand side of the equation it may then be normally distributed. That's the same as the distribution of the residuals. That said, it doesn't need to be perfectly normally distributed. If it is continuous, you don't have boundaries that all the data are pushed up against. Um, if it's reasonably normally distributed, we're going to get close enough estimates, close enough reasonable p-values, so that's what we're looking for, is reasonably normal. That said, if the data and or residuals are completely non-normal, so you have count data or categorical data or something highly skewed, uh, indeed, then you want to use a different kind of model like a generalized linear mix model. And you use those when the data are actually fitting some other distribution not normal. Okay, so so it really depends on are the data fitting something else, some other distribution, or are they kind of normal but not quite there. You can also apply things like transformations the way you can in linear models if again the data just looks, say, skewed.